G'day guys, welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How are we doing? Hope we are all well. Hopefully you guys are staying safe inside your homes and everything else in between. Anyway, let's get to it. So we are at the town and we are going to go on another hunt. I'm not too sure what that hunt is going to be, but we'll have a look, see what's up and we shall um, obviously finish it off, hopefully. So, how are you guys enjoying the new update? So, it's, it's been out for a few days at the time of this recording now. So, have you guys settled in? Are you guys enjoying the bounty hunts for hunting animals now? Um, a lot more than what it would have been for outlaws and things like that. Let me know in the comments. Um, I want to hear your thoughts and see what you guys think about the new update. Because I personally like it. It's different. It breaks it, up, breaks it up from the standard um, normal bounty hunt and things like that. And we don't have to spend coins on the consortium here to raid bases and things like that. Not a lot of us will have a lot of coins to go around as well. So it is really good um, to have something a little bit different to muck around with. Um, what are we up to now? Uh, Wounded Bear. So we've done the DR and the Coyote in the uh, previous episode. And can actually go back and do those again if we would so much like to do so. Um, so that's interesting. Reinforced bow, iron spear, so exactly it was as it was beforehand. Um, Alright, wounded bear. Looks like we're going to go on a bear hunt, guys. So let's accept that quest and let's head over home. And we should be able to pick up a machete or two. Now, I'm not too sure if we have to craft every single weapon. I don't believe that is the case, but in my last video, I had to, in order for the quest to be actually updated, I had to um, craft a new weapon. So I'm going to find ourselves a machete anyway in my inventory stock. And let's see if it um, updates the, the quest for us without having to craft the, uh, the weapon. So we'll see how we go with that. I'm not too sure if I was doing anything wrong previously. So I really wanted to suss that out because I mean it's gonna give us well it's gonna be a lot easier for a lot of people really if you've already got the weapons in question. And so long as we've got that, we can obviously move on and you know do the set quests, but we have to find a machete first before I can do anything. I don't know if I've got a machete. This is going to be interesting. Oh, there, there was one. So let's go ahead and pop. Was that the. No, that's the Bowie knife. Sorry. My, my mistake. Uh, machete, machete, machete. I don't think there's one in the. There. There's nothing there. There's obviously nothing there. Uh, nothing there. That's still a Bowie knife. I really don't have a machete. Really. I'd like to think I did, I did have one, so there we go. Okay, so let's move that there. That doesn't have the best durability, so I'm gonna take a few of these and see if that helps out. Oh, there you go. I don't know what might have happened in the previous video. That's very interesting. But we are going to need to swap out a few things. So I'm going to go for that one there. I'll keep the revolver there. Actually, you know what? I best off keep that there. So the idea with the hunt is that you need to kill the wounded animal with the weapon that you're either crafted or that you have on hand. So that is going to be a interesting concept because depending on where this location might be, um, we need to work out where to go and then we can actually go down and target our enemy. There we go. Okay. So he's going to be over there in the dried forest. Will be an interesting run only because there's going to be multitudes of enemies as well that we're going to have to um, worry about. So I guess this is where the, the whole um, uh, difficulty comes into play. So the first couple of, um, of hunts that we did were quite easy, they weren't too bad. They were pretty clustered and very um, compacted in where they were sort of hiding. So it's going to be interesting as to how we can um, uh, track our 
our animal here and he ran southwest but also we have to be careful of not annoying anyone else in amongst us so it's all well and good to try and find our our hunt see for example here we've got the shooter here so i'm gonna have to alternate between weapons so i think this is probably going to be the best way of doing it and the Remington is going to be obviously up for the task this one here i'm going to take that with me let's just go east okay so he's gone over this way i hate to think the hp that this um that this bear will have this is going to be really interesting well oh, and we've already got a, a different bear so this is not our bear that we're chasing he's going to be clearly different but i will grab a few bits and pieces while i've got it here anyway actually you know what i might grab all of that as it is what do you have for me you've got absolutely nothing there's going to be a here and oh, so there's going to be a few of these enemies that we're going to have to worry about and deal with at the same time. So southwest you say that you might be. So I think it's always good to have a, a weapon in the hotbar just to alternate if you really need to so you don't have to worry about... Oh. Okay, now what I was explaining in the previous video as well, notice the, the bullseye, there's a little arrow. Now that's pointing sort of close to me you could have to be careful with that because if he if he's there and he sees you he's going to run away so the idea with this is you're going to have to um, you're going to have to get out of his line of sight creep up and go for the sneak attack so let's oh, no 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 see what i mean he literally turned as i was creeping up on him that's the absolute worst thing that could possibly happen. So now I'm going to have to run around and deal with everyone else just so I can start finding him again, which is obviously not the most ideal thing, but it is what it is. And hopefully we um, be able to take down our little bear friend here. So he says he's up this way. And okay, let's try this again. So 1,400 hit points he has. I hope you don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Okay, so you can get a couple of hits on him as well, which is good. So now, if we sort of run in the direction that he ran away, we may find the question mark. Good. So that sort of works out. I've actually noticed the um, some of the arrangements of the um, trees and plants and things like that have started to assume weird formations I don't know let me know in the comments guys is that something have you noticed as well okay see now this is going to be tricky there's a black jaguar and in order for you to because he's just there if I can no he ran away it's hard to get these animals all on their own because, as I said, they're all clustered in and it's just it just makes it a little bit difficult for us to try and um, attack the wounded animal. It's and this is this is part of the fun as well. So I do enjoy the the difficulty in trying to. Uh, hunt down these animals here. So let's go southwest. Is this one? Oh, I thought someone was trying to attack me. Oh well, he just did a nice little, um, nice little belly flop, or I don't know what you did. You did something. Oh, take out the shooter, and I'm pretty much just going to deal with everyone as I'm sort of going around and see. Yeah, see, again. So I would have to run right around. See if I can spruik the other bear. Come on, there we go. Okay, beautiful. Alright, switch to that. And I really don't know how this is going to work out. Okay, cool. 
So he turned the way I wanted him to turn, and it's just... So I've got a couple of hits on him, which is good. And now it's just a matter of just trying to find him. I guess in a way, the more enemies that you kill in the zone, I guess it's a lot easier for you to maneuver around. But I guess it, it all depends on your, um, your skill and ability, what weapons you have on hand, the rest of it, all that sort of stuff. So, I don't know. That's just my opinion and my, my initial assessment of this. Now that I've had a day or two just to sort of re-watch my, my previous video, but also um, just sort of work out for myself what type of tactic, uh, tactics should I be employing as I'm sort of trying to uh, take down um, our, our hunt here. So we're gonna go back up this way. thought immediately that it was going to be in a cluster of animals which it is not which is good I may as well take a lot of these guys out now because in my luck there's going to be a situation that I'm going to have to deal with there's going to be heaps of them floating about see like even here I may as well deal with the bear now and just get rid of them and also these pumas here Alright, okay, okay, okay. Now I hope he doesn't turn around and see me. Okay. So they run pretty quickly. As soon as you hit them, you might be lucky in getting a double hit on them, potentially. But that's as far as we're going to get with these animals here. But it's also going to take some time. So patience here is the key, I reckon. He runs away, he runs away. He just, it's just a matter of you uh, running around and just finding the next clue. And obviously resources are going to be a thing as well, so... Oh, Jesus, I didn't even realise... <laughs> I didn't even realise he'd be that close. Oh, wow, okay. I wasn't even thinking, I was, I was thinking about something else and then that happened. you were there before, so do these, do some of these animals respawn when you're trying to track? I have absolutely no clue. Now I'm scared, I'm looking at my, I'm looking at the tracks, I'm looking at the, the minimap as well at the same time, and I'm just trying to work out how far or how long should I be running just in case, so, see what I mean? As soon as you find a another clue or even that of the the, um, the wounded animal in question you need to deal with like a minion more or less um, you know what I might just take your clothing and I'll take your bandages so now I've got to head to the hunt I need to use the machete Okay, so no matter how fast you can run, he, he just he bolts. So you can do your best, but it looks like animals do respawn every time that you are trying to no 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 that you're trying to track your, your hunt. I'm gonna have to because I can't actually Okay. So you are south. Just need to be careful. on just as well I took all of this. Okay. Okay, we need to go west and hopefully this should be where we find our wounded animal. So I'm gonna have to run around and take out his buddies that he tends to have with him. So if I can just ooh, grey wolf look I actually don't think I've, I've met you before. Awesome. Now the Puma. There we go. So you can do these little things as well as you sort of try to coax the other animals so you can get all of them out of the way and you can just go back and just do your sneak attack. There we go. Perfect. 
So you're lucky to get some double hits here and there. So it's all about how you sort of do the hunt. Um, you're not going to, you can always try the whole running, um, running guns blazing kind of scenario, but I don't know if that's going to work out. So uh, use at your own risk in how you want to do it, especially how quickly you want to do this as well. I guess that's going to sort of take that into sort of some sort of um, consideration as well. But there we have it. So we've got the first hunt done. We'll do another one and see how we go with that as well. And hopefully it won't be too long. But we'll see how we do. Um, that one took a little bit of time than expected. So I'm, hope I'm hoping we will have some better uh, weapons that we can use. Um, on the hunt next time around, but let's see what our old mate Nick has to say. So let's complete that one there. So we can go into the inbox. Pretty sure we'll put these things on top anyway, as it is. Yeah, all good. So we've got the fast light shotgun. Awesome. Alright, let's go back to. Okay, so it's telling us to do the other two again. So we're going to need, so we're going to do the coyote, we need the iron spear, and we need the bow for the other one, for the deer. It looks like it's the same, the same um, uh, quests as we did before, so I don't know whether or not it's going to be. Should I accept it? So it looks like we can accept both of those. Yeah. Okay. So I'm guessing we can accept both of those and then sort of track both of those at the same time. Yeah, okay. So at least you can do multiples and you can take. All, all the weapons that you are going to need and pretty much finish off the quest, um, the quest accordingly to your sort of pace I guess at the end of the day but if we head out and we'll just ride back home real quick let's see if we can grab the weapons from before And I might actually drop off a few things as well because I did start to accumulate a bit of stuff as well at the same time. So we've got a few bits and pieces here. So I kind of like this. Now I think if I recall correctly that the, the quest, there was going to be new quests. Now I assumed that there was going to be um, new quest, like every single quest that you do, you can't do another one until the the next uh, throughout the next couple of days so what it sounds like is that you can still revisit the old quest that you had done until the next one comes through in the next few days so I'm guessing that's how that sort of works I'm not too particularly sure but that's just my initial assessment on that um, but let me know guys in the comments what do you think of that so we've got the bow, and I should have my steel lance from before. That should update accordingly. I don't know why that hasn't. That has not. See, this is the problem that I had in the previous video. If I use this one, will that work? I don't know why that is like that in the first place. Um, I don't think I have any other iron spears, which is a little bit annoying. So that's fine. What I can always do is I can just craft up another one. That doesn't really bother me. But the fact that you can pick up some of your weapons that you have already have. But for some reason, the iron spears I'm not able to take from my inventory so I'm not too sure what that's all about to be a, to be perfectly honest with you guys 
Um, I'm just seeing if there's any other spears that I can sort of use, but I don't think that there is, unfortunately. So that doesn't matter. That's all fine. I think there might be one possibly in here. I'm not sure. If not, I'll just craft one up and I will have to um, possibly do that at another time. But let's see. Oh, alright. There we go. So we can do both. So I'm thinking I might just do the deer for today. And only because I think we spent enough time with this one here today for the video. And I think it might be just quick and easy for us just to get through this real quick. At least we get a couple of bounties in. And curious to see if there's any other hunts that we need to do thereafter once we've cleared the lot. So that will be interesting. Let's equip our bow. Okay, bow, there we go. And let's go ahead and track our deer. Oop, there you are. So I need to go over this way. Just be careful, just be careful. And go back the other way as you do. Carefully watching the mini map over here, just in case. Okay, I don't know where you ran. Oh, there you are. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just sneak up on you. Oh no, 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 no! He turned. He literally turned as I was sort of going in. Just want to go next to him. Couldn't get him twice, unfortunately. So I don't think you, you'll have that ability with the bows to do just that. So that is a bit of a pain. It's time to go back the other way. And is there anyone over here? Doesn't look like it. Question marks, maybe, oh, maybe not. Don't see him over here at all. This becomes a little bit distracting as well as you're sort of running around. Because you're seeing all of these, especially with the redesign of this of these new zones. I just find it a little bit distracting where you oh there you are. You're sort of going around at the directional, the direction of the actual, um, of the footprint is just a little bit different how it sort of works out. Oh, cool. I've got him twice. Okay. So it looks like you can sort of get him in multiple fashions and you just got to be careful. If you box him in, I think you can get him a few times over if you're lucky. And this is all depending on what type of uh, weapon that you choose to use or that you have to use for the hunt itself. So just by that sort of example just then, that has given me that bit of um, information. So I'm just going to you know, sort of take that as feedback. If you can sort of, um, uh, if you can sort of box him in in a way, then yeah, I think that might work out for you guys. But again, this all comes down to on how you sort of hunt as well. Um, I don't think there's, I think he's bolted away somewhere. Ah, here we go. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, of course. Okay, and you've gone back down the other way. We'll just quickly eat berries just to uh, fend off a bit of starvation. I'm guessing he's probably gone back to the same place as before, or he might be a little bit closer. It's always good just to sort of check your surroundings as well. And hopefully we shall find our our hunt. He's not around 
here. Not too sure. Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. So pretty much exactly where he was from before. There we go. So we got we got our hunt. Oop. And I am being attacked. Go away. Alright, so let's get out of here. I'm not going to worry about picking up everything in, in the green zone here. So I just want to get out of here. And um, click the second quest that we've done. I would do all three, but I don't know. I'm looking at the time in the video here. And I think we are pretty much out of time for this one. So I don't want to keep it too long for you guys. So let's just quickly finish this one off. We'll go collect our quest. I might in fact even do the coyote. Uh, one in my own time just to sort of get that one out of the way but I'm interested to see when if and when new bounties will arrive so I'm guessing now that we've done these two here um, whether whether or not there'll be another one I'm not too sure or do you have to complete all three of them in this case uh, for another one to generate so I'm guessing that could be a reason because uh, I was able to do two in the, in the initial video we've done two today and there was a third one that was ready to go if we so choose to do so. So we can complete that quest. And it's all about now just doing the coyote quest there. So I'm guessing if we do all of them, potentially we may have another one for us to play with. So that could be something that we could look at too. But that might have to be for another video anyway. So what I might do is I may confirm that with you guys in the next video. Just to let you know exactly how that sort of works. Um, probably by now you guys may have already have experienced that yourselves so which is all well and good but for those that haven't I guess that will be a, a thing that I'll let you guys know about anyway so we're done for today appreciate you guys stopping by as always be sure to like the video comment down below share if you can that'd be really helpful and if you guys haven't done so already consider subscribing and hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos take it easy guys i'll catch you next time